I'm Dana, and I've got to tell you, there is nothing like the thrill of running on the open water full throttle with the wind in my face. There isn't much that can compare with owning and enjoying your own boat. Like most boat owners, though, there are some characteristics of your boating experience that can be less than enjoyable. For example, the constant bouncing or porpoising. The time it takes for the boat to get on plane. Even the limited visibility created by bow rise during acceleration. The answer to these and many other performance issues you are experiencing is our Smart Tabs SX. As we say here at Nauticus, Smart Tabs raise your performance expectations. For this demonstration, we're using a typical 20 foot day cruiser. Smart Tabs SX are designed to be installed on boats from 14 to 20 feet with 40 to 225 horsepower engines. As you'll see in this video, Smart Tabs SX assemble and install on your boat in just minutes and require only a drill and a few common tools. Now, let's install your SX Smart Tabs. Start at the inside edge of the chine, about three to five inches from the outside of the transom, and extend a length of about 10 inches. When you align the hinge with your pencil mark, make sure the lower edge of the hinge is flush with the bottom of the transom or slightly higher. Now mark all six holes with your pencil and drill them. Inject a small amount of marine sealant into each hole. Apply the hinge, aligning the holes, and install the number 14 machine screws using a Phillips screwdriver. Now you're ready to attach the trim plate. You'll notice that once the trim plate is installed, it will naturally fall to a resting point at approximately 25 degrees downward. There are five adjustment holes provided on the trim plate to allow you to fine tune the boat to your preference and comfort. It's recommended when first installing the trim tabs, you attach the actuator to hole number three. Once you test run the boat in the water, you can adjust the tabs to increase or decrease the pressure as desired to maximize your boat's performance and ride. Hole number one will provide you with the least amount of lift and hole number five will provide you with the maximum lift. Attach the bottom side of the actuator, the side with only one cable clamp, to hole number three on the plate using a 5 16th inch hex bolt and nut. With the actuator attached to the plate, you can now attach the transom bracket to the top of the actuator using the snap and lock pin. Allow the trim plate to rest on its own in its deployed position. It will naturally rest about 25 degrees down from horizontal. Without moving or lifting the trim plate, rotate the actuator to the transom until the transom bracket is seated flush. Using the transom mounting bracket as a template, drill the holes. Attach the mounting bracket to the transom using the number 14 machine screws. With the port side now completely installed, follow the same installation procedure to install the starboard side trim tab. Now that Greg has finished installing the starboard side, let's see how the boat performs. As you can see, there's a considerable improvement in the boat's overall performance. Greg can easily see over the bow during the initial acceleration, and the boat gets on plane in only a few seconds. Notice how smooth the boat runs through waves and wakes. There's no bouncing or porpoising. If you're tired of getting bounced around your boat and you want more time out of your tank of gas, then you're ready to give Smart Tabs SX a try. We're so confident you'll love them, we guarantee their performance or your money back. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found it helpful, and I will look forward to seeing you on the water enjoying your Smart Tabs SX soon.